okay? Because we are using hammer to hit the samples, okay? So there are some important things you must know, okay? So before the test, of course now, now it's okay, fine, okay? So before the test, make sure there is no one stand on the right hand side of the ring, unless you have any last word to say. Okay. Because the hammer will hit the sample to the other side. Okay. So you may get hurt if you stand on the right hand side. Okay. If you haven't bought any insurance yet, it's time for you to call your agent. Okay. Like you know, yeah, okay, good. Ah, okay. So although we have bought insurance, I, I don't want anyone break the record. So far there is no injury happen. <laughs> okay, so now we have four samples. Okay. This is the initial condition. This is what we call lock. Okay. So this lock is basically used to lock the hammer. Okay. So normally you put it in the middle hole here. When, it, when the hammer is locked, right, you can see it, it cannot be pushed. The release cannot be put. I cannot be pushed. If you release the lock, now you can push the release. You can see, right? Okay, now if you want to raise the hammer, we have to release the lock. Then only we can raise the hammer up. Otherwise, the hammer cannot be raised. Okay. Now uh, remember this. Okay, because these are the common mistakes. Okay, common mistake. Don't always try to open the gate to raise the hammer because this is only for you to place in the sample. Okay. Now I show you right, some common mistake. Okay, first common mistake. So you raise the hammer like this. Okay, the hammer is quite heavy, right? Okay, never mind. Later, if let's say your left hand gets stuck, with your right hand only, right? You have not enough energy to push up the hammer, and the hammer has to be released. And later, a few finger gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe a few fingers or the whole hand, depends on how you hold the hammer. Okay. So very important, right? The hammer is heavy. Okay. It's not just like one simple hammer, just a wooden block here, you can raise it up uh, uh, easy. Right? So remember to do it like that. Some of them learn and say, okay, very smart, then I put one hand here. The second common mistake, do you think your hand is very power enough to hold the hammer at this position? You see, your hand is with this position and you raise the hammer again. As the hammer goes higher, more energy will be stored, right? Gravitational potential energy. And later, your hand has not enough energy to hold it and again it will release. And again, maybe a few fingers gone. Right? So don't do like that. So how to do? Let the gate close. Okay, let the gate close. Please leave some space for me. Okay. Come to the left hand side of the equipment. Mm. Okay. Use two hands, raise the hammer. Raise the hammer up. Okay. Until it gets temporary lock, you will hear one tuck sound. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is temporary lock. Okay. So after the hammer is temporary lock, right? No. We have to lock it properly. Right? This is temporary lock. If you push it here, the hammer will release. Okay. So please lock the hammer first, lock it. After lock, now the release cannot be pushed, meaning that it's safe. Then only you adjust the folder, okay? So first step, release the lock. Second step, raise the hammer up, okay? Third step, lock the hammer again. Number four, adjust the pointer, okay? Number five, open the gate, okay? And it's time for you to place in the sample, okay? So now, you have a nudge line here. So please make sure when you place in the sample, right, the nudge line have to be faced to the other side. The hammer will hit to this side, the nudge is faced to the other side. Don't put it face to the hammer side. Otherwise, the material won't be broken and you will spoil the material. Okay, right, have to be put it opposite to the hammer this direction. Okay, right. So after that, you place the sample in, okay, and everyone please help to Confirm your friend do correctly at this step. Okay, uh, but it's very important. Make sure you lock the hand over because sometimes when you place in the temple, oh, accidentally your head touch the release and finish. Okay, so please make sure your friend lock the hammer before open the gate and place the temple in. Okay, so after that, then you can close the gate. Okay, you can close the gate. Okay, so I don't want to waste any temple. So let us just assume the temple already there. Okay, now we close the gate. 
And so after the get is closed, the next step is you have to remove the safety lock. Okay. If you do remove the safety lock, it cannot be pushed, right? You know. Next, you have to balance your body because you will use your right hand to release the lock, right? So you can put your hand here. This is a gate for you to place your hand to balance your body momentum. Okay. Mm-hmm. Again, don't put your fingers in. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, don't put your fingers in. Unless you have too many fingers. <laughs> so put your hand here to balance the body momentum and do not be too gentle, right? Hard push, like just one, make it a very hard one, okay, just bring it faster, okay? So apply the brake slowly. Apply the brake slowly. When it gets very slow, right? Apply the brake completely, okay? Apply the brake completely to stop the hammer. Okay? Class? Class? Yep. I do want emergency brake. Apply the brake slowly, okay? Mm-hmm. If the hammer is swinging very fast, right? Apply the brake slowly, okay? Make it become slower first. When it becomes very slow, completely apply the brake to stop it, okay? If you apply emergency brake and you spoil the equipment, right? Please pay 5,000. Okay? Or you can pay me 5,000 first. <laughs> okay? Okay, if you really want to show your good skill, right, in applying the brake, right, you can do it on the wood. Okay. <laughs> However, okay, I don't know what will be happen. Huh? Okay, but don't do it here. Here, no initiative, no emergency brake. Huh? Okay. okay. So after you have finished the test, right, it's time for you to record the pointer. Okay, and this is actually the pointer. This is the pointer. Make sure when you read the pointer, right, it's at eye level. Okay? Eye level. Okay? So this one is about 110. Okay? It's about 110. This will be considered as the final angle. You pick up the left angle. Yes, 120. Right? It's about 100. 119 or 118. Just now I asked you to adjust the pointer, right? We read. There is an energy conversion table. Okay, if 118, then you turn to the second large page. Then you can see 119 is equal to 55 or 2454. Okay. The rest will be the calculation. Calculation can explain later. Okay. Okay. Right. So after you have finished all these, then continue for the second sample. So everyone clear? Yeah. Okay. So very simple operation. Okay. So okay. we will try to give everyone to run the test, but some of the group with five members maybe one has to sacrifice. Okay. Okay. But try to make sure your friend is doing the thing correctly. When your friend is running the test, right? Do help you to do right? but you can remind them if they make mistake okay remind them you forget to remove the second lock you forget to play in the center you forget to ensure that the position of the next line is in the direction okay just remind them let them to do the test okay do not actually two or three percent operating here. Okay, and one more thing after the center right is hit by the hammer, so the sample goes to that side. Okay, so other members who are not operating the machine, please help to check where the sample goes. After that, please collect the sample. Of course, the operator still remains here to apply the brake. Okay, yes, right. So after that, you collect all the four samples. If the sample is fully broken, it's okay, just leave it. If the sample is not fully broken, right, don't manually break it. <laughs> Understand? Yeah. Don't manu- manually break it, you just leave it. Like, collect all the sample later after all group finish, 
So I will discuss with you what needs to be done. Mm. Okay? Mm. Clear? Yep. Okay. So group one, please do the impact test now. Group two, please start the measurement. If you have anything that which is unclear, please go back to